What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. Very important message to share with you in this video, okay? If you're feeling unmotivated, if you feel like you cannot do the work, if you feel like, you know, last week you were, re you were really enthusiastic about everything, you were excited about what you're doing, but today just, just doesn't feel that way, right? I wanna tell you why that is because I experienced this recently myself and I became very, very conscious of the reason why. Now, this is stuff that I've been uh, trying to understand for a very, very long time over these last two and a half, three years as I was on my personal development and business journey, right? And the truth is, of course, there's always gonna be ups and downs, right? It's the law of rhythm in the universe, right? Things are always gonna be up and down and up and down. There's seasons for everything, summers, winters, whatever, okay? But if you find yourself fluctuating very, very frequently, right? Where one week you're you're really excited about everything, you're enthusiastic about them, something, and you are, you know, excited to do the work, right? You're just, you know, you know where you're going, you're focused on your vision and everything is kind of clicking and you're excited where you're going, right? And then the following week, you don't have that same energy, right? You don't, maybe you maybe fall back into some past thinking or some, some past habits, right? Well, this is because you're focusing on the past, right? And I'll give you an example for myself. I woke up two days ago, it was Monday. I'm usually very, very excited for Mondays because I used to hate them when I worked a job, but now I don't work a job. So I'm excited for Mondays. And the thing is, I woke up and I didn't feel good. I felt, you know, I felt just unmotivated. I felt a bit tired, right? All these different things started to come up for me. And it was because I had been focusing on the past a couple of days before, right? Something came up, family thing, whatever the case is, story for another day, but something came up and it changed my way of thinking because before that I was super enthusiastic. I was focused on my vision. I knew what I was doing and something kind of came along to disrupt that, right? But I allowed it to disrupt me. That's the problem, okay? So I wasn't really aware of this. I was kind of trying to battle it a little bit. So what I had to do was re recalibrate my mind, right? Because when, I, when you focus on the past, you know, when I was stuck focusing on this other thing or these other things that started to come up, other thoughts started to spring from this one thought and feeling, okay? Because the way I was feeling was creating more negative thoughts, right? It was like, if you think of the branches of a tree, that's how cause and effect works, okay? The law of cause and effect, right? Every action has an equal and opposite reaction, right? So even thoughts are a cause and the effect is either a feeling or another thought or maybe even an action again which feeds back into the loop okay so it could be a vicious cycle and this is why people go on downward spirals right so i started to become conscious of the way i was feeling the thoughts that i was thinking started to create more thoughts started to make me actually feel worse and there was a period where i actually started to feel a little bit sick right i started to feel a bit congested now a lot of people might say oh that's just coincidence but those period of days where i start was feeling like this right affected my emotional state and my emotional state means that my vibration the level of frequency i was at was much lower than usual which means i started to attract these kind of negative things into my life instantly right so this is how this stuff works now what i did to do this was become very conscious of what was actually going on okay obviously i was like okay this is happening because of this i started to really understand it i started to you know see okay this came from this that's the cause that's the effect how can i reverse this because this it works the opposite way you don't have to go on a downward spiral if you become conscious of this stuff okay so i sat down i recalibrated my mind i took a deep breath i meditated for about 45 minutes or so much longer than i usually do usually i do maybe 20 minutes a day in the morning and in the evening but i took a 45 minute meditation to really really settle myself back down right really realize that what is going on is something that I have control over, right? I have control over my mind. I don't have to let this past identity, this, this negative thought, these things that are kind of trying to pull me downwards, I don't have to let that beat me, okay? I can be in control of my mind if I choose to and make the decision to take control over it, okay? So I started to sit down, do this meditation and recalibrate my mind. And when I say recalibrate, I mean refocus. Refocus on the vision that I am moving towards right? The thing that I am building, the thing that I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis, right? What does this look like? What is the outcome? Where am I going? Right? And I got very, very clear. And I'm telling you, if you can sit for 45 minutes and calm your mind, you can get very, very clear on your vision simply because, you know, you're, you're going to be living in an exterior reality, right? A different reality that is a possibility for you, 
okay? Because the thing is, guys, you know, when we have a vision that we're working towards, a lot of people say, okay, yeah, you, you just visualize and you think about it in your mind, okay? But that's half the battle because that's the intention. What we want to do is we want to pair that with an elevated emotion because the thoughts are the electricity that connects us to a new reality. The emotions are the magnet, okay? So I want you to remember that. I got that from Dr. Joe Dispenza. I want you to remember that. Thoughts are the electricity and the feelings are the magnet that bring a new reality to us, okay? So we want to pair this new intention, this new visualization with elevated emotions. Now, when you spend a significant amount of time uh, in this state, right, when you are meditating or when you are focusing on this vision that you are creating, it's very hard not to feel the elevated emotions because you are really in that moment of what is actually happening, right? So this is how I recalibrated my mind and instantly, after that meditation, my emotional state had shifted. Now, of course, there's other ways to shift your emotional state, right? Going to the gym, right? Hanging out with friends. If you're working really, really hard, maybe you need to take a break, hanging out with some friends, uh, doing exercise is gonna be a great way to do that. That's why I always start my morning with some yoga or some exercise and some meditation so I can really start my day on a high emotional state because your emotional state will affect how you make decisions, okay? If I am in a low emotional state, which I was a couple of days ago, right? I'm not gonna to want to do the work. I'm going to start slacking. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna see opportunities to grow. I'm not gonna see opportunities to do business. Right? It's going to affect me and how, you know, how I operate on a day-to-day -day basis. But when I shifted my emotional state, instantly I wanted to create this video. Instantly I wanted to go out and I wanted to write another newsletter. Instantly I wanted to connect with more people on Facebook. Right? I wanted to go and do all these things because my emotional state had shifted. So if you can learn to shift your emotional state, which we'll be talking more about on this channel, you can overcome anything. You will literally step into a new reality, a reality where you are motivated, where you are confident, where you are doing exactly what you need to do because you are stepping into that new identity. That new identity is inside of a new reality which you have created and you can step into at any time. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys. We're gonna be talking more about this on this channel. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Have an amazing day. Make sure to focus always on shifting your emotional state if you are not feeling like you need to be feeling because you cannot create your reality in a low emotional state. If you are feeling emotions of lack, scarcity, you're not able to actually do the work, you feel like you are not confident, you're not gonna be able to bring your reality that you want to create into your life. You're just gonna create more of the same because it's gonna be familiar to you. You want to train your mind to live in the future that you want to create, right? And remind yourself of that constantly. Pair your thoughts with an elevated emotion that matches the reality that you want to create, right? I'll see you in the next video.